Now we need to multiply two two-digit numbers using the grid method. First, we have 66 times 53. The first thing to do is to partition both numbers into tens and ones. So with 66, we have 60 and 6, and with 53, we have 50 and 3. So now we can write our partitioned numbers down the side and top of the grid. It doesn't really matter which way round we write the numbers, but let's write 60 and 6 on the left and 50 and 3 on top. So now we need to fill in our grid. For this box here, we need to work out 60 times 50. That's 3000 because 6 times 5 is 30, but after we've written the 30, because there are two end zeros in the question, we need two end zeros in the answer after we've multiplied 6 by 5 to get 30. So we need 3000 in this box here. For this box, we need to work out 60 times 3. That's 180 because 6 times 3 is 18 and then we need one end zero. For this box here, we need 6 times 50, so that's 300 because 6 times 5 is 30 and then if there's one end zero in a multiplication question, there will be one end zero in the answer. And this box here, we need 6 times 3, so that's 18. So now we just need to add the numbers that we'd written in the boxes and when we do that, we get our answer 3498. So now let's try 73 times 45. With 73 we have 70 and 3 and with 45 we have 40 and 5. So let's write our partitioned numbers on the grid. We have 70 and 3 and then we have 40 and 5. So for this box here we need to work out 70 times 40. That's 2800 because 7 times 4 is 28 and then if we have two end zeros in the question there will be two end zeros in the answer. For this box we need 70 times 5. That's 350 because 7 times 5 is 35 and then we need one end zero. Here we need 3 times 40 so that's 120 because 3 times 4 is 12 and again we need one end zero. And here we have 3 times 5 which is 15. So now we just add up the numbers that are on the grid and when we do that we get our answer 3285.